Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, we've decided to come here because uh, Cincinnati Public Schools is, of course, one of the largest districts in the tri-state. It is almost one of the most uh, diverse, and there are 36,000 students here, which is why we came here to get their opinion about the governor's new initiative. Now, we can tell you that that executive order was signed hours ago, in fact, just this afternoon, to create that new school safety center. It will be under the Department of Homeland Security. In addition to reviewing and revamping security plans for public schools all across across the state of Ohio, there will also be better intelligence analysis of social media threats made online. Those are just a few of the things that the new safety center will be responsible for. We also spoke with Cincinnati Public School Board Director Mike Morosky, as well as the president of the American Federation of Teachers for the city, Julia Sellers. Both say that what the governor is doing is indeed a step, at least a step in the right direction. I and Cincinnati Public Schools applaud the governor for doing this piece of it. Um, he's also done some interesting things real quickly regarding red flag laws, so I applaud that too. Um, but I think there are probably two or three other things that are legislative in nature and maybe a couple others that will need to be part of this package for change to be made. I hope it moves forward. I hope it's effective. I hope that it will put things in place. Well, again, that governor actually hopes to get things up and running as soon as tomorrow with seven employees being redirected from the Homeland Department of Security, rather, uh, to restart working on this new initiative. Now, at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you why some administrators say that this particular initiative may not quite go far enough in what they propose the governor should also consider to make sure that all kids are safe. Reporting live here in Coryville, I'm Tamika Artis, 9 on your side.